Well, my friends, it's time that I gave this channel a second dose of some random jazziness. Hey there, Book Dragons. I'm so glad you're here with me today. In case you are new here, I'm Chaz, and I call this video Random Chazziness because this is an update video talking about some things having to do with my channel. I am so glad you've joined me for this. I hope you will get some value out of this video. We're going to get right to it. Please make sure that if you enjoy this video, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, join my Discord so that you can talk with me there as well. And I think that about does it for the preliminaries. And, uh, my wonderful cat, Ari, has decided to join us. Hello, baby. Mm. So, got to show off the cat first because she's just the cutest thing. So, let's go ahead and get right to it. The first thing I want to talk about, if you weren't already aware, I recently hit a 1,000 subscribers. And I, I'm just so thankful to everyone who has subscribed to me and taken part in this community. I love the BookTube community and you guys especially that have joined me here on Bookish Chaz just mean the world to me. So uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, along with that, you may be wondering if I have monetized yet or if I plan to monetize. So the answer to the latter question is yes, I do plan to monetize. Uh, Google already makes money on my videos, so I, I might as well take a slice of the pie, right, at some point. <laughs> they, they run ads on my videos and they make money on it. I, I might as well get a little sliver of that. Probably not much, but a, a sliver is better than nothing. I, I have not gotten to the point where I am able to monetize yet, and that is due to the fact that I have not hit my watch hour minimum yet. I'm sure I will hit it eventually, but while my subscriber count is where it needs to be, I have not yet arrived at the 4,000 watch hours in order to, to get AdSense revenue and stuff like that. So, uh, that will come with time, I'm sure. It would probably help if I did more shorts. I know shorts are a big thing on YouTube right now, so I am thinking about things that I can do to, to make shorts and get a little bit more visibility that way. So I do plan to keep them related to bookish things. So that's where the challenge is coming in a little bit, but I, I do plan to do more shorts. So keep a lookout for some of my shorts content in the near future. Now that I've hit a thousand subscribers, I feel like I've kind of arrived at that place where I can start tweaking things just a little bit if I want to, doing a little bit of experimentation. And one of the things that I wanted to do is run a poll about content in my video descriptions. So I did a poll recently in my community tab asking people what they think about what I have down in my descriptions. Because I have a standard format that I use down there. I have a description of what's in the video, and then I have chapter breakdowns for the video, and then I have links to other channels that I have tagged if I have any. And then below that I have my links. And my poll in the community tab was specifically regarding the links that I put in my description. And the options were there's too many links, or keep it the same as it is, or what links, or what description. And while the majority of those who were polled say to keep it the same as it is, altogether, those who selected the other answers add up to a larger percentage. And so I found it quite interesting that a lot of people really don't even know I have content down in the description, or they haven't noticed my links, or they think I have too many links. So while they are smaller percentages separately, it does speak a little bit to the fact that 
A lot of people don't even check the description of the video. And so for a while, I've been looking at ways to simplify my video description, maybe cut down on the large amount of information that is down there. And so what I've done is I signed up for a link tree. And a link tree is just basically one link that you can click on that takes you to a landing page with all of my links on it. So if you really want to see other places to find me, you can find me on that link tree. And starting with this video, I now have that in my description as opposed to a whole list of links in my description that you may or may not see. All you have to do is, is look down below and there's a sentence that says check out my links with the link next to it. You click there, you can find all of my links on my link tree page. And the cool thing about that is I can have all of my links there. I only selected a few of my links to display in my YouTube video description. And with link tree, I can showcase all of them and you can look through the list and pick which ones you want and let the rest go. So I've got my Kofi page on there where you can go and leave me a tip if you want to. I've got my Goodreads page on there. I've got my business page on Facebook if you want to follow that. I've got a whole bunch of different links there and that will be the best place to find me. Not only that, but Linktree lets you do a QR code. So if you want quick access to my Linktree to look at all my links, you can check out this handy little QR code right here on the screen. You can hold up your phone and scan the QR code and away you go. You're off on your journey to my Linktree page. So it's kind of cool. I'm, I'm trying it out. I would love to know what you think about this, if you think it's a good change. It does kind of simplify my video description, which I really like. And I figured with this QR code here and the link in the description that takes you to all my other stuff, that's probably going to work the best for me. And maybe it works the best for you too. So I hope so. Please do give me your feedback though because I do want you to be able to find me other places, okay? One of the links that you will find on my link tree is a link to my Patreon account. Now, one of the cool things that Patreon has done is they recently opened it up so that you can follow a creator on Patreon without being a subscriber to their content. And that's really cool because I never want someone to feel like they have to support me financially. That is always optional. It's always appreciated, but it's always optional. And if you want to just hang out and follow me, that's totally cool. If you would like to support me, I do have three different support tiers that you can join. And I want to take a minute right now to thank all of my current patrons. There's a list of their names right here. I really appreciate all you do to support me in that way. And one of the perks of being a patron that my patrons seem to enjoy is my quarterly patron pick. And I did want to talk about that for a minute because I did a drawing for my quarterly patron pick back in October. And I did not announce the person who won the, the patron pick. And that is Danielle over at Bookcara. And she selected for me to read Scythe by Neil Schusterman. So I will be reading that in December. Just wanted to kind of give you a, a heads up on what my patron pick is going to be for this quarter. Uh, I did recently have someone upgrade their membership as well to the next tier. And one of the cool things about that is not only do they still participate in the patron pick, they get their name in the hat twice, and they also get to pick a book off of my DNF list for me to possibly try again with. So it's an interesting little twist on the patron pick. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what Christopher does with that if uh, his name ends up being pulled from the hat. I, I don't know if I'm going to have to read a book off my DNF list, which isn't super long. But Patreon has been super helpful. I, I've been able to purchase some extra lighting for the channel. I also purchased a green screen, which I am planning to do more with. I'm trying to work out some ideas 
of how best to use the green screen and study up a little bit and make sure I'm using the green screen right so that I don't disappear from the video all of a sudden because I did the green screen wrong. So I, I'm still fine-tuning my skills on that so that I can use the green screen in an accurate way. And some of the money also went to purchasing the camera that I use now. So I set that money aside intentionally to use for stuff related to the channel. So I really do feel like Patreon has been beneficial to the channel in a lot of ways. Another link that you can find on my link tree is my Pango store. Now, I have not announced this on my channel prior, but not too long ago, I did set up a shop on Pango Books, and I've listed a couple of books on there, not many. I did sell one, and I've got a couple of others listed up there, but I did want to put it out there so that if you're on Pango Books and you want to follow me, check out my shop, you can do that. Pango is a really cool way to find books outside of eBay and other places like that. And oftentimes you'll find some pretty good deals because bookworms tend to be pretty particular about taking care of their books. So a lot of times you'll find some that are in really good condition. So I've been impressed with Pango so far and I thought you might like to check out my shop. And next I want to talk briefly about a couple of videos that will be coming up shortly on the channel that you might want to keep your eye out for. The first one is my video looking ahead to 2024 and setting down some goals for what I'm going to read in 2024 as well as things I'm going to be doing for my channel and other kind of general life plans for 2024. That's gonna be coming up on December 12th. So please mark that on your calendars. I'm really excited to share with you some of the plans that I've been jotting down for 2024. And then January 2nd, after the new year, will be my video where I talk about my favorite books of 2023. And so I'm, I'm super excited to share that with you as well. That list is still not finalized because the year's not over, but it will be before we know it. So I'm really excited to share the books that impacted me the most in 2023. So that's just a couple of videos that you can look out for. I also have a couple of videos coming up that are going to feature my daughter. I know my daughter is a huge hit on the channel. So she's going to be joining me in my next video, which is a book review of Project Hail Mary. Then she's going to be joining me in the video after that, which is going to be the Pokemon book tag. So I, I'm really excited for you to see those and get to experience some more time with her because she's super awesome and you all know she is. So if you want to see a list of all my upcoming videos that I planned anyway, you can check out my Discord. I do have a list of upcoming videos on my Discord. If you check out my link tree, you'll find a link to my Discord there. You can click there, join my Discord, and you can see a list of all my upcoming videos that I have planned so far. And then there's one other thing I want to talk about, and that is your feedback. I would really appreciate getting your feedback on the channel. I'd love to have your suggestions, things you would like to see, uh, things you'd like to see more of, things you'd like to see less of, things you would like me to tweak about my channel, things you really like about my channel. Are my videos too short? Are they too long? Is everything hunky-dory? I'd love to have all of your feedback. That would be absolutely amazing. And I really hope you will feel free to share anything with me. I'm open to any kind of feedback that you would like to give me. So please feel free. Hit me up in the comments or hit me up on Discord. You can chat with me there. I do BookTube because it's fun for me and I enjoy making these videos and talking about books. But I also want to make content that you're interested in watching. So your feedback is invaluable to me. I know this was a very random video, <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, guys, make sure you're reading more books. I will talk with you soon.